Hi! Maven app has just been updated with a new cool function for your Waypoint mission. Now you can create and execute completely autonomous orbits or spirals. Creating a path like this now requires only a few taps, let's see how to do it. This tutorial requires that you already know how to create a basic mission with Maven, if not we recommend that you first watch the video linked in the card or in the description below. Open the Maven app and create a new mission as usual. Form an orbit we need a point of interest, so let's create one first. Let's add a couple of waypoints. After associating the waypoint to our point of interest, scroll down in the waypoint options to reveal the new orbit waypoint option. Just tap it and boom! We have our orbit. Now if you want you can change the radius of the orbit and the number of turns, clockwise or counterclockwise. You can make up to 5 laps by choosing in quarter turn steps. You can add other waypoints which will automatically connect to the endpoint of your orbit. You can always modify the parameters of the orbit and then the path will correct itself automatically. By pressing the arrows on the top you can scroll along various checkpoints of the orbit. At the end point of the orbit, if you want, you can assign actions like any other waypoint. And to create a spiral? Nothing simpler. Activate the spiral switch in the orbit options to show other parameters. Now you can change the radius and altitude of the endpoint of the orbit by effectively creating a spiral. By modifying the various parameters you have infinite possibility to create different spiral paths, we invite you to play with them a bit to understand their potential. Changing the radius of the corner of the orbit waypoint will also change the radius of the corner exiting the orbit. Pro tips. As it often happens that the maps are not perfectly aligned with the real world, to make sure that the point of interest is in the center of the orbit we strongly suggest using the by flight function to get the exact GPS coordinates of the POI. Here we are flying over the tower we want in the center, and then we save the position as POI. Then we add a waypoint to the distance that seems correct for an orbit.
Once this by flight mission has been created, it is easy to edit it to create the desired orbit, just a few taps. It is preferable to use a drone capable of carrying out missions completely autonomously in similar missions, as when the drone flies behind a structure it is easy for it to lose the connection. If you have a drone that performs missions in virtual stick mode, it is crucial that you check your height of the automatic return home before takeoff, to avoid unpleasant situations. That's it for this tutorial, do not forget to leave us a like and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the next content.